Hello everyone, Cyberverse Prime here today, and uh, we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Siege Leader Class Shockwave. And I have to say a couple of things about this figure. Um, one, I absolutely love this figure. I mean, th this is probably one of the best Shockwaves they have released to date. Now, I know everyone doesn't like all this add-on shit, but hey, I mean, for me, it's fine, I don't really display him like this anyway, I just did this just for the sake of the video, um, just to show you that this is one of his modes that he can do in his robot form, um, he's actually got two different, um, all this crap that's on him, they can actually turn into something actually pretty, uh, pretty sick looking. Um, what I mean sick looking, I don't mean like disgusting, I mean like pretty awesome. So nonetheless, um, this guy retailed back in 2019 for 50 bucks, and I'm not gonna lie, this doesn't feel like a $50 figure, this really just feels like a more of a $30 figure for me, um, and that's probably what his original price point was gonna be, um, because basically this um, Siege is particular. The War for Cybertron trilogy as of right now is very, very famous for basically putting Voyager class figures at a leader class price. Because they're giving them add-ons and extra accessories, which I'm fine with. They just did that with the 86 Hot Rod. They put them at a Voyager class price point when he's really a deluxe. But hey... Um, it's because of all the accessories he came with, and hey, I'm not gonna com I'm not gonna complain about it. So I wouldn't complain too much about certain figures. Shockwave uh, is debatable. It, it depends on who you really want to talk to about Shockwave. But yeah, um, I'm not really gonna get into size comparisons because uh, I'm not gonna get into size comparisons right away. Um, we're gonna do that when I get him out of this mode. Which is pretty simple. Pretty much all you do is just... Uh, damn. What the hell? You just basically take the pieces off of them. It's all a peg and port system. And just so you know, these are all of his accessories that he comes with. He doesn't come with any blast effects or anything like that. He just comes with all this junk. Which isn't that bad. So, after you have all of that, here is Shockwave in his traditional robot form. And I have to say, when he's in this mode, he definitely looks the best. Now, to show you what you can do with all this stuff right here, just flopping around, doing absolutely nothing. First off, what you want to do is start off with these. You want to go ahead and peg these together. Take this bit and kind of just, um, you want to rotate these guys up. These little pistol things. Rotate these up. Open this up a little bit. Actually, you know, you want to enclose that. And then what you want to do is set these guys... There are two ports right here. There are two pegs on either side. And what you're going to want to do is... I guess you do have to rotate these down. I'm dumb. You take these bits and you plug them up here. Or they just attach. And just want to go all over the place. Where you at? There's the, there's the other piece. So then you just do this. Have this together. Have these folded up. And then these pieces here. There's a peg on this silver part. And there's a port right here. Oh, nope, I'm wrong. Wrong side, wrong side, wrong side. Peg here. Port here. Nope, nope, nope. My bad the other side and you can kind of 
do all this kind of fancy weird shit. Basically give them a sled, but to me, if you look at it straight on, if these weren't here, um, all I see is a prime shockwave head. You're welcome, now you can't unsee it. <laughs> Oh god, um, but yeah, you can make a little sled thing for shockwave and you can ride on it and crap, but We're not really here for this now. We're gonna get into the size comparisons Really quick So here is shockwave with the Voyager uh, Megatron from Netflix deluxe Amazon exclusive barricade and um, Earthrise, Voyager class, Starscream. And I think all four of these guys look good together. Um, I got this guy because <laughs> um, the punch counter punch I was interested in. And then Barricade was just... Actually, I really wanted it for Barricade. Punch counter punch was just a bonus. But I don't mind having a rare figure on my hands. But yeah, when Shockwave's not in his Doc Ock looking kind of you know mode... This is what he looks like next to the others. And for you Fall of Cybertron fans, here you go. Enough said. Alright, now... Shockwave's articulation is actually pretty damn good. Um, ball joint here at the sho um, shoulder, the head. So he can get some all wiggly waggly movement. He can be like, oh, what the heck is going on? I don't know. <laughs> Um, he's got a, actually this side would be a little bit better, he's got a up and, he's got an up and downward movement here due to transformation on the shoulder. Um, he has a universal hinge up here at the shoulder. He can go completely 360, um, bicep swivel, elbow joint, wrist swivel, waist rotation, nice clickety clackety universal uh, ratcheted joints here on the hips. Can go out that far, can go back that far, go forward that far. Um, thighs, well actually kind of like a thigh knee swivel. Um, single jointed knee and the famous siege ankle tilt, which isn't all that much, but hey, it is what it is. Now, I'm going to show you the tr proper transformation on this. Then I'll add all the other shit to it to give you the proper mode. So, to transform shockwave, it's actually pretty... Um, simple. You unpeg this. Basically, it's G1 all over again. You undo this bit and it accordions like that. You open up his chest. Pop his head down. Um, rotate it around if you want to. I do that anyways. Push his chest back in. Yeah, you tab his chest back in if it works. Uh, I think you gotta have the head like this. Man, usually... Okay, you have to have the head like that, I guess. Go ahead and raise up these section. Well, you're gonna rotate this section first. Rotate this in where the circle is facing in. Rotate this up. And around like that. And this piece opens up somewhere. Where does it open up? Up here somewhere? Look at me. I know it opens up somewhere. Oh, there we go. You fold this. Well, you want to make sure these are out, though. And then these fold inside here. And you close this up. There you go. Now what you want to do is take the legs, take down these panels here, you rotate this down, you rotate this around like that. No, I'm dumb. Oh crap. That, oh yeah, 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 never mind, oh, never mind, never mind. Don't pay attention to me. <laughs> um, give me one second. All right, it just took me a minute to figure out the transformation. All right, so you want to rotate this. 
you want to unclip this portion right here. Damn, it did it earlier. Come on. Thank you. You rotate this in all Combiner Wars like. Then you tab the feet together. And then you fold this word. Come on now. Tab together. Tab this section together. Put that in just like that. And then you rotate this. Uh, up here. And then there you have the gun. That shockwave is supposed to be in the first freaking place. Um, I thought it was kind of... When they first showed off the shockwave, he was up around like this. And he's supposed to be like a ship. Which, I'll show you that here in a minute. But, we all know what it's supposed to be, Hasbro. We're not dumb. It's supposed to be a laser gun. Come on. I mean, they can get away with something like this. Because this is more spacey, kind of nerf kind of looking. I mean... They could get away with this. Honestly, they could totally get away with this. Megatron, however, they can't get away with anymore. But Shockwave, they can get away with. I mean, come on now. Like, really? Really? Okay. Now, what you want to do if you want to create the ship mode, you want to make sure these little pieces here are folded up. And then, basically... Take all this shit and unpeg it. You just unpeg it all. This part does rotate to the front, but you gotta make sure these guns and stuff are folded up. Because these are gonna be rotated up to the top. And then. Make sure these bits are all mm. might have to do this entire bit off camera running out of time. Yeah, I'll be right back. Alright, so um basically you just have all the freaking bits onto the gun mode, and this is what you're supposed to come up with. Now for the life of me, I cannot remember where all the parts go. I just know this part comes up to the front. You got the little turrets here, and then you got all this shit on his ass. And it's just, eh. this, this is the most ridiculous alt mode. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's badass. I mean, d don't get me wrong, it is badass looking. I mean, I could possibly see some people using this as, like, in a stop motion series, as, like, a mothership or the nemesis. I could totally see that. But, <laughs> Uh, we all know that with all this crap, it's supposed to be the rifle from the show. So yeah, um, I hope you all enjoyed this video review. If you did, please hit the like, comment, share, and subscribe button. All that fun shit. And uh, I hope you all know that we are on we are on our last video review of the Transformers Siege um stuff. Um, and that is the Commander Class uh, Jetfire. Um, now, I know that it's technically not our last Siege review. Because um, BBTS actually yesterday put up a pre-order for the Rainmakers. I'm not even bullshitting. They did put up the pre-order for the Rainmakers. I pre-ordered a set. And... Um, they're supposed to be coming out in July, so I might just add it within whatever whatever time of the schedule I have for then. Uh, so yeah, so the Rainmakers will probably be the last thing Siege related we'll take a look at, but nonetheless, um, Skyfire or Jetfire will be the last um, uh, figure for now to take a look at during Siege. So nonetheless, everybody, I'll talk to you all soon. Peace.